Race number nine with a field of 11, going to first, no lie, one of the favourites in this race, uh, partnered by Raj Kumar and Chris Allion, hoping for the double. Collie Weston uh, certainly uh, should run well. The man of Emil Ransan, she carries top weight of 57.5, uh, daughter of uh, the outstanding sprinter Hatching. So 11 going to first in this final race. They're under orders, and any moment now, there they go, and uh, Raymond again, lucky to stay in the saddle on Farag as he left the gates, and Farag is oh, well up on the pace, and in fact leads with rapid progress, and no mass. Rose is forever well there to Survivor, and also showing good speed, no lie, Princess Barker well up with them too, uh, the back of the pack one can see, uh, hot tune, and uh, the leader, anyway, it's rapid progress, assuming command from Old Mars and Farag, now Claire third, two lengths back to Rose's forever, and no lie, then Collie Weston, and our joint favourite, and uh, behind this one, I uh, can see uh, Survivor, but it's still rapid progress, making the pace hot by two from Old Mars and Farag taking close roller gap of three and a half back to Rose's forever, no lie on the inside, Collie Weston in the middle, and the uh, merely curious behind this bunch come Survivor, also there, Princess Barco Mantab uh, Hot Tune, but as they proceed up towards the halfway mark, the leader still rapid progress, but Farag is being urged to take closer order and assumes uh, joint leadership there. Farag on the outside of uh, rapid progress, a gap of three as Collie Weston is unleashed as Emil Ransami decides to catch uh, Farag. He's now third with the fitty. Then No Lie, the favourite. Uh, Merely Curious on the inside, they're followed by Roses Forever, then Omar's retreating Princess Barco, Mantab and Hot Tune Matt not making much progress here as they race right back to the corner. Still, Farag and Collie Western, and here comes Merely Curious with a challenge, no lie, is just about fourth with rapid progress. Roses Forever's not improving really. Omar's and the others, the survivor Mantab, Hot Tune look beaten, but it's Collie Western who has been unleashed with a challenger from Merely Curious on the outside. No lie running on, but it's Collie Weston who's got first run and is going to win this one for Merely Curious is running on strongly. It's Merely Curious on the outside. Collie Weston fighting back. Collie Weston is going to win it. Collie Weston wins it at the close by half from Merely Curious. No lie is now third. Farag was trying to make all the sports and Survivor running on. Roses Forever who never fired. Rapid Progress who led for a long way. Hot Tune, Omar, Princess Barco and Mantab. So a second one on the card for the Hadid Clark Ramsani combination. Collie Weston, this handsome filly, a granddaughter of uh, that outstanding Myla Thatch, and of course Thatch sired uh, that great sprinter Thatching, and Collie Weston can sprint and stay quite well. Seems her forte is staying, and she won this race handsomely from Merely Curious, owned by Miss Margaret Ann Clark, and trained by Joe Hadid in Port of Spain. Winner of the final race of the first ever Santa Rosa meeting. We hope you've enjoyed our highlights of this opening day.